you know, pretty good, like up to high ranking. So Very true. hopefully we'll see some people who get into it and just kind of get inspired by all the platform fighters because there's going to be, yeah, as we go into next year, there's going to be a lot of options for people. And I think that's the best thing you could say, right? Because it's something that's just going to get people excited, talking already. And you know the buzz around this game. Dan, I ain't got to tell you that the buzz around this game is something serious, okay? Not to mention it's just got everybody watching what's going to happen here with Rivals itself as well. You're doing a fantastic job, so is the team and the players. Kudos to them for elevating the game plan, giving us something to get hyped about as we jump in to our second Losers Ace. Let's do it. All right, so we got Penguin versus Elkies. Uh, Elkies, a top Maple player. Um, probably number two behind Soul Rifle. Who, really? Um, okay. I, I would imagine still in the bracket. I actually did not check before we got in, but um, yeah, Elkies uh, has a lot of good wins, especially uh, this season. So not going to be an easy pass for Penguin, but um, Penguin has a lot of experience, years you know, and years of experience. You know, I'm familiar with Elkies because when we ran our event, actually watched the Throne 2. Remember, we got, were able to demo Rivals 2 there, and she came out and she was throwing some hands. Like, she was letting people know, yeah, I'm going to be a threat in this too. But never forget your roots, and that's why we're here at Rivals 1. Elkies looking to make a mark and put her stamp on this bracket and does an excellent job opening up and getting that first stock off. Yeah. And first sock in a set is is huge. Well, oh, well Penguin oh. didn't see the care about yeah, right. it, but generally huge because you kind of establish the tone, right? I think that game one, everyone's kind of you know feeling out like where it's at, yeah. like how how things gonna be. So take that first sock and maybe keep your sock a little longer though. For your your next one. That would if be you a could. Little, that would be a little bit helpful. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we shall see. Really, just a, a battle of what thunder and uh, in nature, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These two characters doing it out. Ooh, good hits like the follows. Trying to get something off that platform, not quite. Yeah, Elki's opting to put the seat on to kind of extend that combo, but uh, Penguin was just ready. Wow. Put the kick out as the counter, so that's like kind of the risk you take. If you put out something without a hitbox, you're kind of giving your opponent an opportunity to put out their own attack if they react fast enough. Now, who would you say is probably favored to take this set? You know what I mean? Like, if you had to kind of go through results and consistency, who would you say is probably more favored to take this one? I mean, right now, I would say Elki's just okay. because, you know, like I said, Penguin kind of taking a break, still competing, right, right. but not as seriously. That makes sense. She was but, a little bit of a hiatus for her, so, yeah. Right, but when you're on, like I said, when you're on the stage, that experience is massive, and, uh, yeah, she has been on this stage in particular a lot. She had, she had made grand finals uh, at least twice at uh, Genesis. Um, so yeah, she thinks she's not going to be bothered by, you know, those those nerves. That's what you got to have, being able to clutch up in those situations. Going to require a little bit of clutching right now from Elkies. She does find herself at a bit of a deficit as that percent continues to rise. Meanwhile, Penguin is doing a good job of extending it. As I say that, getting wrapped up and sent all the way out. So anybody's game. Ooh. Oh my goodness, is that going to... Uh, oh, oh what? That, that did not kill, but then the little cloud. <laughs> That's what it was. That little bit of zzz, that little mm. Just enough wow. right on the blast zone. So that perfect DI to just <laughs> barely live on that one was taken away by the, the snipe. That's the cloud so, snipe. That's so tough. When Because when you hit that perfect DI, especially at that kind of percent, you're like, okay. Give myself another lease on life. Yeah. That little cloud just comes by, get a little misty, a little zzz, 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 you're done. That was crazy. So Penguin showing there, one of my flaws actually in Rivals 2, I was trying to get better, so I was uh, playing against people. And one thing I, I struggle with is a thing in sports where it's called a, where you, you watch your pass or you watch your shot. Okay, Instead yeah. of acting, you like take a shot in, a, in like soccer or something and you just look at it. Yeah. Uh, Penguin here showing not having that problem. That cloud was coming out well before, you know, knowing where Elkies was going to be. Sure. Just getting it out, getting it in time, knowing that, hey, if this isn't going to KO, I'll finish it myself. There you go. Very intelligent. I mean, listen, being one step ahead, that's the good way to make your opponent dead, all right? That's just what it is. We got the bars, <laughs> we got the action, and we got game number two. And oh my goodness, Ooh. Penguin. She is not taking her foot off the gas at all, just exploding, electrifying the field right now. She takes that first stock. That was a 25-second stock. And and nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. Penguin looking really solid. I think the, the play here now for Elkies is obviously try to get in as much as you can, but also she's going to need to close stocks earlier than she yeah. would like because when you're trying to you know come back, you cannot let them get above 100 and, you know, start living longer than you want. Oh, man. Oh, just the whiffs right there. Okay, but able to pick it back up. 
Let's see. Gets Lily on the side. Nice setup in established. Oh, not going to be much of a difference maker, though. That parry was tremendous, though. That should be a stock. Yes, yeah. indeed. Really good close out there, for sure. Woo! Oh, just just kind of so, catches so, that roll. I was going to say, like, kind of just so abrupt putting it into that stock, right? Yeah, not sure if it was a read or, um, you know, just kind of covering space because uh, Elky's kind of got a, in a little bit of trouble being yeah. above uh, Penguin. Oh. Nice. Put some stank on it. Oh. Hold on now. Nice. I'm liking what I'm seeing from Elky's. Starting to find a little bit of momentum. As long as we can get this offense continuously flowing, can definitely find some moments to pick apart Penguin. Oh, my goodness. These ladies are showing up and showing out right now, Dan. We're going down to the wire for game number two. Let's go. That was a hell of a call out. Yeah. That was awesome. I barely feel like Elkins has even been touched since that point, right? Look at that. Just dictating this offense. Hold on. As I say that, though, Penguin's starting to pick it back up. He's engaged again. Nice call. Oh man, I like I like actually what Peng was doing, kind of disengaging in some of these situations, so that you're not putting it in a precarious situation. Because you see Elkie's trying to kind of herd Penguin into where she wants her to go, and she's like, no, 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 no. I got the ability to kind of move and maneuver. I'm gonna take advantage of that, then finish it off on the top. That was really good stuff from Penguin. But yeah. it shows me that Elkie's still has an opportunity. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, once that third that last stock started, it was even. Uh Penguin, like you said, just really good at kind of putting the pedal down and finishing. And that movement you mentioned that Penguin was kind of showing off, kind of inspired by uh, me watching uh, someone, Esam, uh, Pikachu. I loved watching his, like, when he first started streaming, just kind of doing tech. I think it was even in Smash 4 at the time, of, like, showing all the Pikachu cancels. I was like, yeah, I would love to do, like, a character that can do these kind of cancels I in forgot, my own game. I forgot you were a huge Pikachu stan. <laughs> Aren't you, Dan? Nothing wrong with that. I mean, in 64, that was my main, so you kind of never, you never forget. Bye but, uh, you. but yeah, I just love, I just love tech, honestly. I love, like, character-specific tech, advanced tech. Like, that's my favorite. So a lot of characters and rivals have all of their, a lot of the tech is based on them, right? There is some general, you know, game tech, but a lot of tech is unique to the characters. Love that. As it should be. And you got two of the most unique characters you're going to find in any platform fighter right now. And we got a very close first stock. Oh, Maple able to kind of get that reach going right. Fine whipping all the way over there. Yeah, that's big. I think that's the first time she's taken the first stock. So let's see if she can uh, now push that lead further. Oof. Oh, hanging out a little bit on that ledge. But bang, she said, I'm not going to let you hang out there for free. But it doesn't really matter. Elkie's coming back. Extending this lead. I went 24% though. I mean, you want to a little bit more than that just in case. Nice. The parries have really been on point for Elkies in a lot of these spots. Yeah. They've done a lot of work. Yeah, for sure. But even with that being done, Penguin. Oh. Oh. Was that an interruption of that tether? Yeah. So Tether used to be fully invincible when yeah. it was first added in the I game. Remember but that, yeah. yeah, now Maple does have her hurt box. So if you can, you know, she always does like a similar path depending on where she goes. If you can interrupt it, you can hit her. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. Wonderful. All right. Two stocks apiece right now. This game number three. Oh, my Lord. Nothing interrupting that coming full throttle right off the top nonstop. Here we go. Elkies, what do you got for me? Apparently a whole lot. Like you said, the parry's <laughs> just been so good. That's what I've been noticing, right? If there's like an MVP move or a choice selection, it's got to be the parry for Elkies. The Penguin, though, not letting up. Like we saw in the Sego set, the top players don't really ever let you get a free win, right? Even if they everything. go down early, they're yeah. not going to let you just walk away with a W, so... Penguin doing the work to get this back to a, a final stock. Oh, no. All right, mounted a little bit. If you want, oh, I was going to say, if you want to get this stock off, it's, it's, it's getting to that point where it's now or never. Though, it, I do find it hard to discount anything after what we saw in that last set from Sego. I'm going I'm to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Here yeah. we go. Let's see if Penguin can put a Sego-like run 
out right now. She is doing her best. Here we go. Combo City, Combination Station, all aboard. Let's go. Oh, a big parry. Uh, yeah, but that you see, so jabs are the only thing in Rivals that don't go into parry stun. Correct. Uh, so she, instead of losing the game, you know, it keeps going. Yeah. All right, just trying to put a little bit of distance between them. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, no shot. Oh, the cl oh my, not almost this time, again, almost, yeah. yes. That time Elkie's, oh, and able to close it out. And what closed it out there, what was it? That was... The parry! <laughs> Getting it, yeah. I mean, so the Cloud again went going for it, but Elkies was able to kind of dash in with that forward special, put herself in a spot where even if she got hit by the Cloud, it wasn't going to, you know, purple screen, instant KO. Oh, my goodness. These little sets that get your heart racing, Dan. <laughs> get your heart racing. Nothing wrong with it either, man. Penguin and Elkies showing didn't, up big time. Didn't Penguin win? Did Penguin win both first two games, I thought? I thought Penguin was up uh, two games to one. Yeah, I think Penguin might be up two to one. I, I was I was pretty sure Penguin was up two games to one because we saw the Cloud finish on game one and then the Up Air finish on game two, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the score was just a little off right there, but we got it repaired. We got no it big fixed. Deal. We got it fixed. Don't worry about that. Production's always doing a lot of things, man. There's a lot of bells and whistles you got to attend to when you're running a stream like this, so it's all good. That's what no. we're here to do, earn our keep. I mean, <laughs> most of the times I forget instantly. So, like, I, they, if they ask me, I'm like, uh. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Dan. I got these four eyes for a reason. All right? <laughs> Let's get it. Game number four, and it is a big one. Elkies hoping to be able to send this into overtime, get to a game number five. Penguin, of course, she would love to end it right here. Going to one of the classic stages of Rivals. Yeah, I used to call this treetop paradise. <laughs> it looks nice. It's a, oh, it's a really good stage. Oh, here we go. A really good start right now. Coming out from Penguin. Nice. I love that. Use the Cloud as the assist. Yeah, a little ping pong combo. Yep. So good. Such good ways to utilize that. Well, I tell you, Elkies is just Perry master if I ever did see one. Honestly, I would, it would halfway make me think of readjust my offense, and I'm just incorporating way more jabs just so I don't get stunned with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So sick. Oh, oh what? No, no shot. Oh, no. If you blink, you missed it. Tight beat right there from Penguin. Lord have mercy. She is not playing around. And yeah. this game five just got a little bit more difficult to get to because game four is going the way of Penguin. Yeah. When you're like this evenly matched yeah. too, like that kind of close ending stock, so hard to come back from. It's going to take a lot. We've seen some great things from Elkie though throughout this set. And it's no fluke that she made it to this top eight position. So one more time, going to have to really ratchet up the pain to figure out a way to take care of business because Penguin, he can smell blood in the water. Oh, the Lord. Oh, did she get it? Almost. Still an edge guard opportunity oh, and does close it. The ladies are showing up, Dan. I'm telling you, final stock. Here we go, last stock. Oh, my goodness, Elkies. Do we believe? Can we see another big time miracle? Oh, no, Penguin. She's smart. She trying to get back. She's trying to get to that position where it's going to be a little bit safer. Maybe some middle of the stage play. Nice parry through a lot of that pressure coming out from yeah. Elkies. She knows what she's looking for too. Oh my lord. 128, 139. Fearless in the field. But is it going to be enough to overcome Penguin? She's got such a strong lead and she's Ooh. not going to let it go to waste as she closes that one out to advance deeper into the top. A good effort from Elkies. Definitely showed up. Showed right. Just yeah. Coming up a little bit short. No, super awesome play. That comeback was looking like the we saw with Sego. She but was Elkies. knocking on the door. That's what yeah. she's knocking on the door. But yeah. Penguin, she was like